guys, what's going on? It is Slacker here, coming to you with episode 13 of our Kansas Rebuild. This week, we got a kicker, Lawrence Brown, so we filled up the kicker position, which is good. We didn't really get any other after last week's win, however. We're, we're, we're going in the right, you know, we're going in the right direction. I think we're going to do nothing but go up at this time. So going over the NCAA leaders, we, our quarterback is pretty far down there, and he also is hurt. Our rushing, we have number two in James Sims. He's number two in the rushing leaderboard. Tony Pearson is number 12 in the wide receiver category. We do lead the tackle, tackle, tackle category, however, it's kind of skewed because of just being user. Tavai is second in sacks, and we are nowhere close to interceptions. However, we do we have kicked a long enough field goal to hit the leaderboard at number eight with Dory. So going over our recruits, it looks like we're going to still be getting Reggie Robinson, Edwin Mitchell. It looks like we're going to be getting both of those. Hopefully they lock soon. Mitchell is at a 98% lock, so he's pretty soon. Clint Tucker, pretty much no competition right now, but he's only 75% lock, so we still need to push some points into him to lock him up Dominique Strickland same thing Albert Pitts going after him going after a few wide receivers our fullback we're still needing we do are going after Sean Harrison we're hoping he signs soon it is almost week 14 so we're getting close to signing just kind of going over the rest of the people we're trying to pick up a few uh, people that are kind of left behind from the computer as you can see here on Rich Balls, Rawls, 80 overall, except no one's really recruiting him. So we're going to try to jump in here and recruit him. We did jump up 580 points last week. So I'm trying to recruit him, trying to get some people picked up. Again, here are all of the commits we have. And I got to be honest with you, I think my favorite going into next season right now is probably Albert Mills. He is our top recruit, number five overall in the class. I think he's going to bring a lot to the to the Jayhawks next year. We are ranked number 18 going into Ames, Iowa this week. Kirk Herbstreet has us picked at 8-2. We are number 18. Iowa State struggling at a 3-7. and seven. It's not hard to find why when you look at that defense. Their defense is giving up a ton of yards. Their offense is just not scoring much. And we were kind of on the opposite range of the spectrum. We come in at third in points, third in yards, 55 in pass. We don't matter because we are third in rushing. Our defense, however, you know, needs help. Iowa State has a few visiting prospects this week, so we're going to want to make sure that we play well. To see, you know, Iowa State doesn't get those recruits, that would be helping us in the long run. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Jayhawks have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Jack Tri Stadium near the banks of the Skunk River plays host for this matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Dickers got the So ball we're going to get the opening get kickoff, started. hoping for a Excellent great kick. return by Tony Pearson. He is right now first in the Returner of the Year award, so we're hoping he gets him. I think this might help a little bit. He gets 39 yards. Cummings with the first snap, going to give it to Sims. Sims going to find a huge lane. Ankle tackle there. If he's not tackled there, he's gone for a touchdown. James Sims, second in the nation right now in rushing. 
Cummings back to pass on a third and 13. We are going to get the first down. Tony Pearson to the right side. Obviously going to our number one receiver when we need help. He's wide open. I figured Iowa State would be all over this as, you know, like, I, I don't know what other people are scouting. I don't know if the computer just doesn't scout at all. But we didn't scout this play as wide receiver Gary gets on the left side for a huge 45-yard gain for the Iowa State Cyclones and they're in range for a score and they are going to score Gary going to score that touchdown he caught that 45 yard pass going to fish it off with a touchdown Iowa State going up 7-3 Iowa State gets the ball again after a KU punt throw going to get another huge gain this one for 29 yards that's going to end the first quarter Iowa State's going to go up 7-3 Fourth and two, 6.30 left in the second quarter. The Iowa State is makes is that lead 10-3. KU down at by seven at this point. Cummings going to keep it. Smart decision. Finally pitches to Miller. Miller's going to find the left side. Going to get 21 yards. Most of it done by the quarterback. Cummings, however, he does get the pitch and the yards. Sims going to get a hand up off up the middle. 12-yard gain for Sims. Forced to punt it again. Iowa State coming out on a third and six. Trying to run a screen. Not going to work. Sniffed it out by Tavai. We were able to get that sack on the play, causing a punt on fourth down. Pearson's going to have a lot of room. Not a good idea by Iowa State. Pearson trying to make him pay. He is going to get 31 yards. Huge gain by Pearson, but not going to be a touchdown. Hopefully, the offense can pick it up and put some points on the board this drive. First and goal coming. He's going to give it to Sims. Sims muscling his way through into the end zone. James Sims with his first rushing touchdown of the game. Iowa State trying to do the same thing. Going to get a run up the middle to White. Going to gain 16 yards on that run from James White. Iowa State looking to put that lead back on the board. Here comes White again. Going to get hit and carry the defender probably 9 or 10 yards. So he's going to get the first down on that. After Iowa State is forced to punt. Cummings coming out. Going to fumble. It's going to be picked up by Sims. He's going to get the first down. Crazy events right there. Cox going to find a wide open pass on the right side. KU trying to hurry up with about a minute left in the second quarter. Nick, Har Nick Harwell going to catch it on the right side, stopping the clock. Tony Pearson over the middle. Kansas is rolling at this point, trying to get that seven spot up on the scoreboard. Pitch here to Darian Miller. He's going to try to get in, and he does for a 15-yard rushing touchdown. That's going to put Kansas up 17-10. to Iowa State trying a huge field goal right here to try to put three up on the board. Not going to make it. That was about a 62-yard field goal. KU going in to halftime with the lead, 17-10. to Iowa State trying to come out here in the third quarter. Third and 13, needing a first down here. Not going to get it. Going to get sacked by Ben Heaney. Huge sack at a huge point in the game. Really needed that stop to try to put two touchdown lead in front of us. Cummings trying to help that out. Mundine to the left side. Tight end Mundine with the first down. Next play, Cummings going to fake it. A pass over the middle of the Pearson. Actually in coverage. Pretty good coverage by the defense. However, Pearson is the man of the year for us. Catches pretty much anything we throw at him. He catches that for a touchdown. Iowa State not giving up, even though they're down 14. They do, however, turn the ball over. 6.30 left in the fourth quarter, and we drill a 50-yard field goal there, putting us up 27-10. to 10. Iowa State trying to get back into the game. 25-yard pass to Gary. He's been their big wide receiver today, getting him most of their chunk yardage. Here's Gary again on the catch. That's going to be another 10 yards and a first down for the Cyclones. Trying a little screen here actually gonna be good he's gonna break a few tackles finally taken down after 18 yard reception 
on third down. Iowa State needs to score on this possession to stay in the game. Is going to catch it on the left side. That's going to be a first and goal. James White going to run it in here on second and goal. That's going to be a seven-yard touchdown run. Iowa State 17, Kansas 27. KU just trying to run out the clock right now. James Sims going to get a huge gain. Those holes are just magnificently big for James Sims to run through. It's not that difficult. Dari going to pop it up. Going to get another three points there. Kansas going to go up 30-17 to 17 with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Iowa State just trying to do anything they can to get into the game. Break a tackle. First down here for Jarvis West. Continuing the drive for the Cyclones. Catch on the right side to Bunridge. Iowa State left side to West. He's going to get it. Going to make a little bit of a juke. Make the safety tackle. Going to miss it. Sam Richardson pass on the left side for a touchdown. Iowa State brings this within six points. Pearson hoping for a big return. He gets the right side. It's going to be a huge return for Pearson. Up towards midfield. That's going to be a 54-yard return for Pearson. Tell you the running lanes were wide open today for James Sims. There's another 32-yard rush. He's having a huge day, James Sims. Just trying to waste the clock at this time on third and six. Tony Pearson going to catch it over the middle. Going to make a first and goal. Kansas... First and goal with 147 left in the game. Very next play, James Sims gonna score another touchdown. Put a KU up 27 or 37 to 24. Gonna run it in. Actually gonna put it up 38 to 24. I apologize. We wanted the two touchdown lead there. I was hate not giving up. That run by James White was huge. Broke about two or three tackles there. Getting the first down. Iowa State over the middle. Still not giving up. Fourth at 14. Iowa State back. Richardson not going to get the chance to throw it. That's going to be a sack. Victory formation for the KU Jayhawks. Number 18 KU winning 38-24 this week. And that's going to do it for a very entertaining shootout. 38-24. That wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time. Number 18, KU winning this week by two touchdowns, a two touchdown margin. Big win for KU. Needed it done. Iowa State kind of at the bottom. Michael Cummings had a pretty big day. James Sims, of course, 165 yards in those two rushing touchdowns. Huge. Tony Pearson, 5 receptions, 65 yards. Not a lot in the passing game this week. Not really a surprise. We did pass for 170 yards. Iowa State passing for over 400. So our defense still needs a lot of work. However, they are getting better. We're still winning games. Looking to break into that top 10 before the end of the season. If you guys like this KU series, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please, please, please comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the series. If you like it, if you think it should stick around, I want to know. Till next time, Slacker out.